technology is finding its way into most every area you can imagine. The boundaries between media, entertainment, education, technology, all getting blurred. When people have access to the internet and to communications, people creating new business opportunities. The strong technology push is creating opportunities that weren't there really before. Over the last 10 years, the Global Information Technology Report and the Network Readiness Index Framework have provided a very sound foundation for leaders in both public and private sector to think about technology. But at the same time, over the last 10 years, technology has evolved. In the modified framework, we have the environmental aspects, the readiness, usage, and the impact of the three most important actors, the individuals, businesses, and governments. The large emerging economies are not actually leveraging ICT to the same extent as they are doing in other uh, drivers of competitiveness. In terms of uh, the rankings, the Nordic countries and the Asian Tigers are leading the way. Sweden in first position, followed by Singapore, Finland and Denmark. The United States on eighth position. We also see that there is some sort of a regional digital divide with southern economies in Central and Eastern Europe lagging a little bit behind in comparison to Western Europe. For Asia and the Pacific, we see a big contrast between the Asian Tigers, South Korea and Japan, and the rest of developing Asia. The results for Latin America are disappointing. They have had strong economic performance, but this has not been matched by their ability to leverage ICT and technology more broadly. In the Middle East and North Africa, we also observe this kind of regional digital divide. Sub-Saharan Africa ranks at the bottom of our rankings due to strong structural weaknesses. We actually think mobile broadband will have far more impact, and it's not just about accessing the internet. And benchmarking country to country, I think will actually spur adoption faster. So the GITR has really been helpful in helping companies and governments understand what's happening out there, to stay abreast of these developments, understand the opportunities that will make both businesses and governments relevant going forward. The government and various economies can apply some of the results to be able to learn from the best practices of other economies around the world. Economies are competing on the global stage and technology can be a great enabler for competitiveness.